Welcome to Nature with Aristotle, the podcast where we explore the fascinating world of natural science. I'm your host, Aristotle, and today we're going to delve into the remarkable story of Mimosa pudica, a plant that has captured the imagination of scientists and naturalists for centuries. Mimosa pudica, also known as the sensitive plant, is a species of flowering plant that belongs to the legume family. It's native to South and Central America, but it has been introduced to many other parts of the world, where it can be found growing in tropical and subtropical regions. So, what makes this plant so special? Well, as its common name suggests, Mimosa pudica is extremely sensitive to touch and movement. When you brush against its leaves or stems, they fold up quickly, a phenomenon known as seismonesty. This unique behavior has made Mimosa pudica a favorite among botanists and naturalists, who have studied it extensively to understand the underlying mechanisms. From a scientific perspective, Mimosa pudica is a member of the Fabaci family, which includes beans, peas, and other legumes. It's a perennial plant that can grow up to three feet tall, with compound leaves that are made up of many small leaflets. The plant produces small, pinkish-purple flowers in clusters, which are followed by seed pods that contain several seeds. But what's really interesting about Mimosa pudica is its ability to move its leaves and stems in response to stimuli. This movement is made possible by specialized cells called polvini, which are located at the base of each leaflet. When the plant is touched or disturbed, the polvini release chemicals that trigger a rapid loss of turgor pressure, causing the leaflets to fold up. One of the key researchers who contributed to our understanding of Mimosa pudica was the French botanist, Jean-Baptiste Lamarck. In the late 18th century, Lamarck conducted extensive studies on the plant's behavior and proposed that its sensitivity was an adaptation to protect itself from herbivores. More recent research has confirmed this hypothesis, showing that the plant's ability to fold up its leaves deters insects and other animals from feeding on it. For example, a study published in the journal Plant Physiology found that the leaf-folding behavior of Mimosa pudica reduces herbivory by up to 50%. Another study published in the journal Ecology found that the plant's sensitivity also helps it to compete with other plants for resources, such as light and nutrients. But Mimosa pudica's interactions with its environment don't stop there. The plant has a number of fascinating, ecological relationships with other species. For example, it has a symbiotic relationship with certain species of ants, which live among its roots and feed on the plant's sugary secretions. In return, the ants provide protection to the plant from herbivores and other predators. This mutualistic relationship is an example of myrmecophytism, or ant-plant symbiosis, which is found in many tropical ecosystems. In addition to its relationships with ants, Mimosa pudica also interacts with a variety of other organisms, including fungi, bacteria, and insects. For example, the plant has been found to have a relationship with certain species of mycorrhizal fungi, which help it to absorb nutrients from the soil. It's also a host plant for several species of caterpillars, which feed on its leaves and stems. As we explore the natural world, we're constantly reminded of the intricate web of relationships between species and their environments. Mimosa pudica is just one example of the many fascinating plants that have evolved unique adaptations to survive and thrive in their ecosystems. By studying this plant, we gain insights into the complex interactions that shape the natural world and the importance of preserving biodiversity. So, what can we learn from this sensitive plant? Perhaps it's the value of being adaptable and responsive to our environment, or the power of forming connections with other living beings. Maybe it's the importance of appreciating the intricate beauty of the natural world, and recognizing our place within it. Whatever the lesson, I hope that today's exploration of Mimosa pudica has inspired you to appreciate the natural world in a new way. As we conclude our journey into the world of Mimosa pudica, let's reflect on what we've learned. This incredible plant reminds us that even in the most unexpected places, there are remarkable adaptations waiting to be discovered. By studying Mimosa pudica, we gain insights into the intricate web of relationships within ecosystems and the importance of preserving biodiversity.
That's all for today's Nature with Aristotle. Remember to like, share and subscribe. And until next time may your curiosity about the natural world continue to flourish.